Can you identify this famous face? You've seen her on television, on Broadway, and in the movies. Do you know who it is? You're right if you said Betsy Palmer. And playing opposite Betsy tonight, one of America's most popular television stars, Bill Cullen. Tonight, Betsy Palmer plays against Bill Cullen on The Face is Familiar. The Face is Familiar is brought to you by Winston. Winston tastes good like a cigarette should. Now, here's your host on The Face is Familiar, Jack Clark. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Welcome to our show. Uh, you're about to see some very unusual and fascinating faces. And they're the faces of famous people whom you've seen many times in the newspapers, in the movies, and on television. But tonight, you'll see them in a very different way. So you at home, try to identify, if you can, these famous faces as you play along with our two celebrity teams. And tonight, Betsy Palmer and her partner, Nathan San Oman, playing against Bill Cullen and his partner, Phyllis Bihar and Betsy Palmer, so nice to yes. have you on our premiere well, broadcast. Well, thank you, Jack. I'm very honored to be what here. What you been doing this summer? Oh, this summer I did a couple of musicals, and I was on a boat. Really? Well, your partner is Nathan Senamon from Gaffney, South Carolina, a doctor of what, uh, Nathan? Pediatrics, Jack. Good. Bill Cullen, how nice to have you on the same show instead of sitting in for you. It's uh, nice to be here with what doctor, too? <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> What have you been doing this summer? Beg pardon? What have you been doing this summer? Oh, I attended two musicals and fell off a boat. <laughs> say, say hello to your partner, uh, Bill. Her name is Phyllis Bihar from Long Island, New York, a housewife and the mother of how many children? Three sons. Three sons. Lucky girl you are. Good luck to all of you tonight. Let's play The Faces Familiar. Now, to start the game, we're going to show you one part of a famous face. So, light up the screen, please. Now, that's just one of seven parts that make up the complete face. Now, in order to get a better idea of whose face it really is, we're going to add more parts to it every time you can complete my statement. We're going to start with Betsy and Bill. Put your fingers on the little buttons in front of you there. And to see two parts of that famous personality, complete this statement. In Spain, the spectators cheer the bull... Betsy? <laughs> I'm probably going to blow the whole bit by saying ole. You beat the gun, but you're right. Ole is the answer we're after. That's right. Okay. Okay. Betsy, for a correct answer to that, now you get the first crack at identifying our famous personality. See if you can do that right. by looking at two parts of this familiar face. Do you know who that might be? Looks like red hair. Jane Meadows. You say that is Jane Meadows? That mm -hmm. is not Jane no. Meadows. Mm -hmm. You're playing for the identification. Whoever does so wins $200 and a chance for even more money. So this time will be Nathan Sanomon against Phyllis Bihar. Fingers on your buttons, please. Complete this statement for three parts of that familiar face. A beatnik calls his apartment his... Yes, Phyllis. Pad. Pad is what we're after. That's correct for now. Oh, no. Sorry. Phyllis, now you get a chance to identify this famous personality by looking now to the screen and three parts of the familiar face. <laughs> For $200 in the game, is that face familiar, Phyllis? Uh, Joan Crawford. Joan Crawford? Joan Crawford? That is not Joan Crawford. <laughs> Back to Betsy and Bill. For four parts now, you're playing. If her bathing suit fits in her purse... Betsy? It's called a bikini. She wears a bikini? <laughs> Bikini's the answer, that's right. <laughs> Tell me what beach you're on this summer and I'll be there, my dear. Look to the screen now, Betsy. It's up to you All playing right. for Nathan. See if you can identify our famous personality by looking at four parts of her famous face. Does that help you? No, it doesn't. <laughs> my gracious. Time she has a go. very low... 
Oh. Time is gone. No identification. Back now to Nathan and Phyllis. Fingers on the button. For five parts, complete this statement. If you combine lunch with breakfast. Yes, Nathan. Brunch. Okay, Nathan. Now, if you will look to the screen, please see if you can identify our famous personality. Look at five parts of her famous face. Carol Channing. You say this, Carol Channing? That is not the face of Carol Channing. Betsy and Bill, again, complete it's this nice statement. It's nice to be back in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Bill and yeah. Betsy, complete this for five parts, for four, six parts, excuse me. Six parts. A person who never has fun in a crowd. Yes, Bill. Says Ole, lives in a pad, <laughs> and is called a wallflower. <laughs> no. no. You had to be so early. The rest of the sentence in a crowd is a party pooper, but you gave the wrong answer. Therefore, it goes to Betsy. Because you gave a wrong answer, she gets to try to identify our famous personality. So, Betsy, look at the screen, if you will. Here are six parts of this very famous face. Oh, that would help. Mindy Carson. <laughs> Mindy, that is not Mindy Carson. So for a look at all seven parks now, it's Nathan against Phyllis. Fingers on the buttons, please. Complete this sentence. If you look at the brighter side, you're an... Yes, Phyllis. You are indeed now. Look at the screen, Phyllis. Here are all seven parts of that famous face. For $200 and the game and a chance at even more, is that face familiar? Yes. No. Time beats you, and there we have all seven parts revealed without a proper identification. So now, we're going to give you a chance to straighten out that face by switching any two parts of the picture, one with the other. It'll be Betsy against Bill for a switch this time. Complete this statement. Right. In Sweden, you lift your glass and say, yes, Betsy. Skull. Skull it is, and that's good for a switch. <laughs> All right, Betsy and Nathan now get right. to switch any two parts, one with the other. So, Betsy, you elect the first part you want to switch. Nathan, I'm going to change seven with... With what other part, Nathan? Seven with... There's only one place, Nathan. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan, which one? Six. Oh. You're going to just flip-flop six and seven, see if that makes that very <laughs> famous face any more familiar to you. Let's see if it does now. We'll switch six and seven. One answer between you for the game and two hundred dollars. Do you know who she is? Nathan, do you know? Just one answer. Go, man, go. Mitzi Gaynor. You say Mitzi Gaynor? No, it is not Mitzi Gaynor. For another switch now, it's Nathan against Phyllis. Complete this statement. Something that makes an easy target is called a sitting. Yes, Phyllis. Uh, 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 I was um, not bull. Time no. going. <laughs> Duck! Duck! That's what we're after, that's right. All right, you and Bill now get to switch any two parts. So, Phyllis, you pick the first part you want to switch. Um, I'll switch two with... With what other part, Bill? I'm very good at this. Two, two with... with. Two I mean, two with. would go there. Pick another part, Bill. Um, uh, four. You're going to switch two with four. You have the approval of the audience. Let's see if that helps you make the identification and win the game. One answer between you. Switch now two with four. One answer. Zsa Zsa Gabor. I beg pardon? Zsa Zsa Gabor. That is the face of Zsa Zsa Gabor. And you did. That's a good identification, and that's $200 worth to you, Phyllis. You have a chance now to add an additional $500. In a moment, we're going to show you and Bill three of a kind. Now, that'll mean three pairs of eyes, three noses, and three pairs of lips. Now, every correct identification you and he make is worth $50. But if you get all three correct, that is worth $500. We'll start with you, Bill. We'll tell you in advance that we are looking for the lips of Steve Lawrence. So look at the screen. Tell us which of these lips belong to Steve Lawrence. Are you ready? Here, lips number one, number two, and number three. All right, Bill, for fifty dollars, which one? Gee, I I was so sure on two, I didn't look at three, so I'll say two. You're going to go on number number two. You say those are the lips of Steve Lawrence. Let's move them now to their proper position on the screen, and those really are the lips of Marty Allen. 
You, you had a second sight there. Steve Lawrence was in the number three position. Yeah. But Phyllis, you can win $50. Now it's up to you. We're looking this time for the eyes of Sophia Loren. Look at the screen. Here are eyes number one, number two, and number three. Okay, Phyllis, for $50, which ones? Number three. You say number three? Those are the ones you picked. Let's move them to their proper position on the screen. And those are the eyes of Sophia Loren. $50. Bill, you can add another $50 to Phyllis's take by identifying the nose of Senator Robert Kennedy. Senator Bob Kennedy. Look at the screen now. Here is nose number one. Number two. Number three. Which one do you say belongs on the face of Senator Robert Kennedy? Can I? Uh, no, I can't. <laughs> the other, the first two look Republican. I'll say three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's the one you picked. Let's move it to its proper position on the screen for a full face shot. That is the nose of Jack Benny. Maybe he's a Democrat, but that's not Bob Kennedy. The real one was in the number one spot, Bill. Bob Kennedy was in the number one spot. Well, you didn't do too badly, though, Phyllis. Uh, for the good game, you got $200, another $50, and the three of a kind. So $250 total. Nathan Salomon, you'll have a nice gift to take away with you. Thank you so much for playing the Faces Familiar. Good night and good luck. Let us have you meet and they meet you, our new players. As partner to Betsy Palmer, we have a gentleman from Chicago, Illinois, Andy Murphy, who's a salesman. Are you married, Andy? Uh, no, I'm single. <laughs> you lucky fellow. <laughs> no, I mean, that'll change too, I'm sure. Bill Cullen's new partner is a pretty lady, Jill Borland from Buffalo, New York. I'll ask the same question. Are you married, Jill? No, I'm not. Jill, would you like me to Andy Murphy <laughs> over here? He's, uh, <laughs> good luck to both of you. Let's play the faces familiar, shall we? To start the game, we're going to show you one part of a very famous face. So light up the screen, please. That's just one of seven parts that make up the complete face. Now, in order to get a better idea of whose face it really is, we're going to add more parts to it every time you can complete my statement. Betsy Palmer and Bill Cullen will start for two parts of the familiar face. Complete this statement. A party for men only. Yes, yes Betsy. Stag party. How, you know? How would you know a thing like that, for heaven's sakes? It happens to be right. Betsy, you get a first chance to identify our famous personality. Look to the screen, see if you know him or her by looking at two parts of the familiar face. Jonathan Winters. You say that's Jonathan Winters? That is not Jonathan Winters. Andy Murphy, Jill Borland, uh, first time for you now. Finger on the buttons. Complete this statement for three parts. Lil Abner and Daisy May live in the town. Yes, Andy. Dog Patch. Dog Patch is where they live. Very good. All right, look to the screen now. Andy, see if you know who our famous personality is by looking at three parts of his famous face. Hmm. For the game and $200. Perry face, Como. You say that's Perry Como. That is not the face of Perry Como. Betsy and Bill for four parts. <laughs> if you have more than one wife at the... Yes, Bill? I Big, would you know. Bigamist. <laughs> <laughs> and you made a boo-boo, too. But yeah. we'd accept either answer in that case. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Look to the screen, Bill. See if you know who our famous star is by looking at four parts of his familiar face. For the game in $200, is that face familiar? Time beat you there, Bill. Okay, we go on now. Andy and Jill playing against each other for five parts. Complete this. To help speed your mail, you use a zip. Code. Jill, code, code is what we were after, and you almost got too early there. All right, Jill, now see if you can make this identification and win the game. Is that face familiar when you see four parts of that famous star? That really helps. <laughs> really doesn't. Um, Jerry Lewis. You said that's Jerry yeah. Lewis? That is not the face of Jerry Lewis. Back to Betsy and Bill now for six parts. Complete this, Betsy and Bill. The slang term 
for a mystery novel, Bill. <laughs> How'd that work? Oh, the slang term for mystery novels, he wants to know. Yes. Uh, mystery Tonight, novels. Sometime, yeah. Whodunits. Uh, Whodunits. Uh, Whodunits. Whodunits is what we were after. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you never were going to done it. Oh, All right, Bill. Now, on behalf of Jill Borland, look oh. at the screen. See if you know who this famous star is when you see six parts of his famous face. God is punishing you. He looks like he's been in an accident. <laughs> I am. <laughs> I gotta say, in a time, beat you again, Bill. All right, to see all seven parts, Jill and Andy, fingers on the button. A very close horse race ends in a photo. Yes, Jill. Finish. Finish is what we are after now. Let's light up all seven parts of that very familiar face. Uh -huh. Oh, Glenn Ford. You say Glenn Ford? No. Yeah. That is. No. No. Not the face of Glenn Ford. All right, now all seven parts of that face have been revealed without a correct identification. So now we're going to give you a chance to straighten out the face by switching any two parts of the picture, one with the other. It'll be Betsy against Bill, this time for a switch. Complete this statement. When you commit a social blunder, you... Yes, Betsy? It's a faux pas. That's what we were after, and you beat it. Very good for you. Oh, right. yeah, Fox Pass, yeah. Okay, now Betsy then. and Andy get a chance to switch any two parts, one with the other. Betsy, which part will you switch? Oh, uh, all right, Andrew. Six and... With what, Andy? There's only one thing. Six more. Six with four. Really? You and hope that will help you straighten out the face and make an identification. Let's see if it does now. We will switch four with six and... <laughs> <laughs> That's the widest mustache ever saw. All right, one answer between you now for the game of $200. <laughs> is, there, is that face any more familiar? Andy thinks he knows. Tony Martin. Tony Martin. Tony Incredible. Yeah. That is not Tony Martin for another switch now. Andy is still in this. Andy Murphy and Jill Boland now play for a switch. Complete this statement. On, in Ireland, it's considered good luck to kiss the... Oh, yes, Andy. Blarney Stone. Blarney Stone, Mr. Murphy. Of course, you ought to know that. All right, now you and Betsy can switch again now. Andy, you pick the first one. Pick the mustache. One. Going to switch one with what other part? Betsy? Well, I guess I have to go to four. <laughs> okay, that's what we'll do. Let's see how that happens. We'll switch now number one with number four. <laughs> Andy, one answer between you. Is that face familiar now? <laughs> Robert Ryan. Robert, it is not no. Robert Ryan. No. All right, Bill and Betsy. Bill and Betsy for a switch. Complete this statement. It. <laughs> listen to this carefully. If you're dancing with your thumbs in your ears and wiggling your fingers, you, yes, Bill. Thumbs in the fruit. No. You are doing the mouse is the correct answer. So for an incorrect answer, again it goes to Betsy and Andy. Get a chance to switch. Betsy, which one will you switch this time? Five. You're going to switch five? Come on now, Andy. Five and three. You're going to switch five and three this time. We're going to see what happens now if that face becomes familiar. Let's switch, if you will, number five with number three. One answer. complete this statement if you've had a bad dream you've had a jill nightmare for a switch which one jill jack lemon without the switch you're going to give up the switch oh you want me to accept that answer it's up to you you better switch i think we should switch all right jill all right you make the switch pick one one part to switch i better do something um uh, uh, four. Four with what other part, Bill? <laughs> four? Six. Four with... <laughs> okay, you asked for it, friends, and we're going to switch number four with number six. <laughs> one answer between you. He's got his 
mustache again. Okay. Jack Lemon. Yes, that is Jack. the face oh, of Jack Lemon. Couldn't stand it without the mustache, did I'm, you? I'm not convinced. Let's switch it around a little more. <laughs> you did it. And That's Andy worth finding. Red button and everything. Two hundred dollars you've got for the identification, Jill. A chance at five hundred more. The moment we're going to show you and Bill three of a kind: three pairs of eyes, three noses, and three pairs of lips. Every correct identification is worth fifty dollars. Three in a row gets five hundred dollars. We're going to start with you, Bill. We'll tell you in advance. We're looking now for the eyes of Andy Griffith. Look at the screen and tell us which pair of eyes belongs to Andy Griffith. Are you ready? Yeah. Here is number one. Never get it, girl. Number two. Number three for $50. Number, number, number one. You say one. number one. Those are the ones you picked. We move them on the screen to where they belong. Show it to me. <laughs> Show them. And those really are the eyes of Andy Griffith. for fifty dollars now we're looking for you to identify the nose of uh -oh. betsy palmer uh -oh. the nose of betsy palmer look at this <laughs> look at the screen jill here is nose number one oh. and number two and oh. number three which nose belongs oh, to our guest star it. tonight, Betsy Palmer? Number two. You say number two? That's the nose you picked for Betsy Palmer. We'll move it on the screen to where it belongs for a full face. Oh, and that really is the nose of Julie Andrews. Uh, you were number one, and you were in good company with Julie Andrews, too. Bill, you can make $50 for Jill Borland. Try to identify now the lips of Jack Benny. Why don't I ever get a girl? <laughs> Sure, and try life. to identify one of these pairs of lips. Here's number one, number two, and number three. They're all lips. <laughs> one, only one belongs to Jack Benny. Which one do you say? Three. three. You no. say number three. You have picked those lips no. to belong to Jack Benny. Let's move no. them on the screen where they would belong. Those are the lips of no. Bennett Sirk. Jack, Jack, would you kindly ask the audience not to call out the wrong answers? <laughs> number one in that case, Bill, but Jill, you got $200 for the game, another $50, a total of $250 goes to you. Andy, you'll have a nice gift. Thank you so much for a lot of fun tonight on the face of the sums up our familiar faces on this program oh. for tonight. They've got to make room for the other familiar faces on CBS. Uh, <laughs> Betsy, we had uh, just a ball tonight. Thank my, you so much. Don't I know much. you from somewhere? <laughs> Where do I slice up my face? It'll oh, become familiar. My. <laughs> do come back soon. Thank thanks you, for being on our maiden voyage. And Bill, thanks to you, buddy. My, ap <laughs> my apologies to Jack Lemon, but we did this poor fellow. When he sees this, he'll probably grow a mustache. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Uh, next week, our guest stars will be Edie Gourmet and Alan King. We hope you'll be along. Until then, the name is Jack Clark. I hope the oh, face is familiar. Jack. The face is familiar. It's a Bob Stewart production.